My name is Miranda Melisani, and this is Make It with Hamilton Beach. I am really happy when I can get in my kitchen and, and my boys are distracted and I can make a really quick and easy recipe that I can eat myself and share with others. This recipe is one of my favorites. It is a healthy treat that I also had for breakfast. Yes, I said I have it for breakfast too because it's full of protein, fiber, and healthy fats and chocolate. Yeah, we're putting chocolate in there. So we're gonna start a recipe with this stack and snap food processor with bowl scraper from Hamilton Beach. Guys, I love this food processor. I have used many in the past, and this little magical part here changed my life with this recipe. It is a bowl scraper. And what I love about it too, it's really easy to assemble. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Our first ingredient, our all-star ingredient, chickpeas. Yes, I said chickpeas. I know they're not the sexiest ingredient, and that's one thing you probably will wanna not tell your guests until they eat it because they're gonna love it. It adds a creaminess to it, protein, fiber, and healthy fats. You cannot go wrong with this. So I'm gonna add this to our food processor just like this. And I have given it a good rinse for first because you wanna make sure that when you get your chickpeas out of the can, it has that kind of, um, almost like it looks foamy. And that foaminess can cause some bloating and nobody wants to be bloated at your party. So make sure you rinse that first, add it to the food processor, and that's our first ingredient. So the next ingredient in our cookie dough is sunflower seed butter. I love sunflower seed butter. I can just take it right from the spoonful and eat it, but I'm not gonna do that because I have to add it to the recipe. So I'm gonna add this in, and guys, I do use seed butter because this is a school snack that I also give to my boys. It's not free, but sunflower seed butter gives the taste of, of it, like a nutty taste in here. So. It's delicious, I'm gonna add it in here. It's actually a half a cup for the whole recipe. Last ingredient we're gonna put in our food processor here is maple syrup. This is dark maple syrup. It's rich, it's full of minerals, and of course it adds that sweetness and the caramel-like taste that I just cannot wait to eat when this is done. So pouring that in, and we're gonna to to put on our lid here. Hook it in, and start it up. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, creamy, delicious cookie dough. But there's one final ingredient that we can't forget. It's my favorite part of this recipe, and that would be chocolate. So what I'm gonna do now is take off the food processor and add it to this bowl. And our final ingredient, my favorite ingredient of all time, chocolate, dark chocolate chips actually. I'm gonna put them in the bowl, and stir it around. How good does this look? So I am mini mason jar obsessed. I have a lot of these because they're so cute. And so what I do to dress it up is put a little cookie, gluten-free chocolate chip cookie on the side. You cannot go wrong with this. Put a little spoon. How pretty is this? I want to eat it right now. That's my recipe for my vegan chocolate chip edible cookie dough. You can find the full details on our blog at hamiltonbeach.ca. I'm Miranda Melisani. We'll see you next time on Make It with Hamilton Beach.